I am going to Europe for six weeks in one week and I'm currently not doing well at all. I'm pretty sure that I have candida overgrowth in my gut. It happened a few years back. My doctor kind of helped me but didn't really help me to get to the root cause. So here we are again. Not enough time to see a doctor before I leave. Unwilling to cancel my trip because my heart can't take it. My body might hate that I'm leaving right now and that I can't see a doctor for a long time but my heart cannot take me canceling that trip so we're gonna go and hope to god that spontaneously Europe cures every single ailment in my body. I had to summon up every ounce of strength in my body to go to the grocery store today. Sat in my car for a good 15 minutes when I got back just being like I have to walk up to my apartment. Y'all are you kidding me? Like I'm so active. I have so much energy right in the morning and now I wake up and I am just like can I lay in bed all day? It is just unlike me. I am taking some supplements right now and things that hoping to help me to just get to a maintenance spot for my candida and then I'll see a doctor once I get back but that's where we're at we just finished school for the semester so it's finally hitting me that oh my gosh I'm leaving for Europe in one week I've been in finals mode I have this thing where I really have to mentally prepare for trips I'm already planning to have multiple days before I leave in a week to do absolutely nothing to just mentally prepare I can't explain it. It's just a thing that I have to do. I have a package that I need to open. Something very special for my trip. I did not want to take the camera that I'm currently filming this video on. I don't want to have to worry about something super valuable getting stolen. So guess what I got? A little camcorder for my travels. Something about me is I hate spending money. So whenever I'm thinking about maybe purchasing something, I do hella research to figure out if it is worth my money. I get super fixated on it and I can't stop thinking about it until I either decide that it's not a good option for me to buy or I buy it. I bought it. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. The only things I buy are groceries and socks sometimes. I love socks. I love buying socks, but I don't make purchases. So this is a feeling that I have not felt in a really long time. Look at these pants that I thrifted. I've been trying to find pants like this for so long. They were eight bucks, which saying it now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're in a thrift store, and most things are like two dollars three dollars and then you're like oh the pants are eight dollars it feels like a lot you know it is a lot eight dollars is still more than i want to waste so i'm glad that they fit even after the dryer that's the second thing i have to worry about if they fit the first time and then i have to worry about will they fit after i put them in the dryer i'm gonna go on a walk i can't really work out right now my body just nope i went to the gym yesterday and then i just laid on the mat and i meditated because my body y'all but it's okay because rest is important and i'm listening to my body my body is clearly fighting something right now and it needs to use all of my energy to fight that thing rather than to exercise so I'm gonna give it that ability exercise will be around for the rest of my life it's okay to take some rest and then I think that today might be one of those days where I don't leave my apartment at all I think I'm gonna clean out that entire closet everything in there there's freaking crutches in here crutches because what are you supposed to do with crutches after you don't need them anymore I I literally kept them because in my mind I was like, I might need them for an acting role one day. Girl, get rid of your crutches. This tripod is so broken. It's in like a million hundred pieces and also my brother's dog chewed up the bottoms of it. So even if I do get it to set up, all of the pictures are uneven because one of the sides is chewed up. Girl, get rid of your tripod. This is me trying to feel in control of my life. Is it gonna fix all of my life problems? Like I think it will. We shall see. Don't tell my therapist. She won't be surprised. Trial court of the state of California. 28th district is now in session. Y'all, nobody needs this much stuff. What even is all this stuff? Who needs that many books? Am I gonna read all those? Hell no. Am I probably gonna keep all the books though? Cause I'm gonna keep convincing myself I'm gonna read them all eventually, probably. Okay, I never told y'all what I'm doing this summer, but I'm going to Europe for six weeks with World Packers. Basically World Packers is this app or website where you can volunteer all around the world for free accommodation and sometimes free food. Mine is free food and accommodation. I am not sponsored by World Packers, but they did give me a discount code. So if y'all want to sign up for memberships, you can contact different hosts from around the world. I will put the link in my bio. I think that this is the coolest thing in the whole world. Amazing opportunity to save money while traveling. Meet other people guaranteed because if there's other volunteers at the same place as you, I love doing that when I travel. Yes, I'm solo traveling, but at the same time, I often go to where 
wherever I'm going for a purpose or a reason or something I'm learning or something like that. Like last summer when I did yoga teacher training in Ecuador. Yes, I traveled there by myself, but I knew that there was gonna be other people with me every single day doing the yoga teacher training with me. It gives me a little bit more peace of mind and excitement for traveling, knowing that I'm going to be able to meet other people because that's my favorite part of traveling. It's the best part ever. Also, it's the part that makes it the hardest because then you have to say goodbye to everyone when you leave. But like my therapist says, what's the other option? Just never travel because you don't want to be heartbroken. Saying goodbye to the people that you meet on your travels, no. That is not the life I want to live. I want to keep traveling, keep meeting people from around the world and being heartbroken at goodbyes because that means that I formed a really deep connection that meant something to me. So here's to heartbreaks. Here's to intentionally breaking my own heart. Guys, I do not want to clean all of this now. Today is Sunday morning and I actually woke up feeling okay, so I'm gonna take advantage. I'm gonna go on a trail run because it's been way too long because I haven't felt good and I just wanna run on the trail. Every time that I leave my apartment, I swear I have a Mary Poppins bag full of stuff because I'm gonna go to the farmer's market after. So I brought face wash because I don't want my face to have sweat on it for too long. So then I brought a little thing of water for washing my face and then I brought a big thing of water that has lemon juice and minerals and stuff in it that I wouldn't wanna wash my face with. And then I brought an extra shirt if I want to change. I brought my wallet, obviously. I brought some reusable bags, towels to wipe my face because I will sweat when I'm running, but I also need an extra towel that's clean for when I wash my face. I brought my headphones even though I never run with headphones. And we're off. Let's go finally do a trail run. I never showed y'all how good my closet looks after yesterday. Look how organized and clean. This makes my heart so freaking happy. Even the books are organized by books that I've already read, self-help books, Journals I've already used, journals I haven't used. I just feel so happy. Now we're moving on to the kitchen. the best water bowl I've ever had. Before I start cleaning, this is my little farmer's market haul. First, I got some microgreens, which are my current obsession. Which are my current obsession. I really want to learn how to grow them on your own because it's actually really easy just inside of your apartment. So in the fall, that will be my little thing that I learn how to do. I've got some spinach. 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 I got some spinach. I love sauteed spinach. Honestly, sometimes I don't even saute it. I just steam it and it's just so good. Spinach is just... Spinach is just so good. I got some cauliflower. Recently, I've been making my own cauliflower rice, which I thought was gonna be really, really hard, but basically I just boil it. And then once it gets soft enough, Use your words. Once it gets soft enough, I just use a spatula. I'm sorry, English isn't making sense to me today. I use a spatula, I'm pretty sure. And split it up into little tiny pieces like rice. And then I eat it like cauliflower rice and it's so good and you just add whatever spices that you want and it takes up the flavor of what else you're eating it with. Mwah. And then cabbage, cabbage is so underrated. I will die on that hill. So I put it in a pot. I add some vegetable broth to it. It soaks up all that flavor and all of the delicious minerals from that. Then I add spices to it, cover it up, and just basically leave it there until I don't know how long, until my intuition tells me that it's ready. And then I open it up and it's all soft and it is usually orange because of the turmeric that I use and it's so good and so good. And also, also it's really good. And it's really good. And then avocados. I don't mean to be, you know, like, farmer's market avocados are the only avocados that I eat. But truthfully, avocados are one of the foods that once you eat them from a farmer's market, you will taste the difference when you go back to the supermarket. Avocados are so good. That's the only adjective that's in my vocabulary. I do leave in four days, so I will be eating an avocado a day for the next four days. Which I'm acting like that's a lot, but that's literally what I do on a normal basis, sometimes even more than that, so I don't know why I said it like that. Pray for me! Tonight, I'm doing my first ever Zoom call with some TikTok followers. I'm just putting the link in my TikTok bio, and anyone can join. I just want to meet people. I just want to connect. Hey! Okay, I just put the link to the Zoom in my bio. I'll be hopping on in about four Four minutes, five till six. I can't wait to see y'all. Mm -hmm. Hi, 
Hi, it's so nice to meet you. I like your backdrop. But the show's already produced for... That is amazing. How did you get into news anchoring? So. Congratulations. Oh, Look at us. We're just zooming in from all around the US. Do you see this smile? That was freaking the best thing ever. I'm absolutely doing that more often. Oh. My goodness. One time I listened to this TED talk that was talking about how there are physiological differences in the way that stress manifests in your body, depending on how you think about the stress. And I have been trying to implement this into my week because I get very anxious for flying. I love traveling, but I hate the actual traveling part. I get so anxious that I'm gonna miss my flight, that I'm gonna miss the train, that I'm gonna... My brain loves to go crazy at all the things that could go wrong. I am trying to shift my mindset whenever I get anxious and say, I am just excited. And this is my body gearing up to do something new, to do something out of my comfort zone. How exciting is that? That I'm doing something out of my comfort zone. And how grateful am I to have a body that helps me to prepare for that. Thank you so much for all your nerves. I know that you're just gearing up to take on something new. You know, I'm trying to just shift my mindset and I think that it's working. I haven't had a breakdown yet. Normally I cry just about every single day, the week leading up to the trip. Um, now that I think about it, I have done that. Anyway, I have no idea what my YouTube is going to turn into while I'm traveling. My main focus is experiencing life while I'm traveling and meeting people and taking in that time that I have away, but I am bringing my camcorder. I am hoping to record things, whether it be videos that I end up editing once I come home or possibly voice memos and recording kind of a podcast on the road. I don't know. I'm just gonna continue to be creative and document what I'm going through because solo traveling always brings up so many things for me. Every single side of me, every single emotion comes up while I'm solo traveling. So I'm very excited to just experience the spectrum, the wide range of human emotions that we are put on this earth to feel. I'm going to feel them all in a short amount of time. And I'm excited and my body is so excited. It's so excited. Thank you for watching this video. I can't wait to update y'all on my travels. Use the discount code if you want to save money and travel the world. Let's all enter into our travel era. We all deserve it, okay? I love you so much. Have a good summer. Mwah!